Hello scouts, it's Mr. Kugler. We're back around the fire pit today and we're gonna be using our square roam cast iron pie iron to make a nice breakfast treat. Now one of the all time favorite breakfasts that you can have in a Dutch oven is the mountain man or hungry man breakfast, which is a, basically an egg casserole. And we're gonna to try to replicate the same thing today in a roam pie iron, but we're gonna take a couple added steps to actually turn it also into a sandwich. Our egg casserole sandwich is going to have some great all-time breakfast favorite type ingredients. We're going to have some shredded potatoes. We're of course going to have some eggs, a little bit of milk, uh, and we're also going to add some American cheese, just straight deli cheese from the deli counter and some deli ham. And you could switch it up. If you don't eat ham, you don't like ham, that's fine. Use some roast beef. That'll work as, just as well uh, as the ham. Uh, the important thing is to have a pre-cooked meat uh, to be able to use in this dish. So I have our hash brown uh, shredded potatoes. And what I wanna do is get started by not only preheating our cast iron pie iron, uh, but also start cooking up those potatoes uh, because it's somewhat like a raw shredded potato. And I want to try to brown that up in a little bit of butter. And a great way to do that is right in our pie iron uh, while we're preparing some of the other ingredients. So let me get started adding our shredded potatoes in some butter uh, to be able to cook them up nicely in our pie iron. So I'll start by opening up my pie iron. And normally I would spray this with some of the non-stick spray oil, but I'm gonna be using some butter. So that'll satisfy that, that need of having something that's gonna prevent everything from sticking to the pie iron. I'll start with about a half a tablespoon of butter. I don't want to overfill the pie iron. I just want to go about half full uh, because I'm going to have other ingredients that are going to be added to this afterwards. And then I'm going to envelop it in two slices of bread as well. So I want to not overdo it on the potatoes. So with my pie iron closed and the little hook in place, I'm going to pull out some coals out of my fire. And I'm just going to let that start heating up and warming uh, the potatoes. And I'll keep flipping it to be able to mix that butter in with the potatoes and ensure that everything is cooking evenly. Notice that I didn't throw it right on top of the fire. I dragged some coals out because I don't need the full raging fire to be able to have that cook. So now we're going to start with two eggs. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of milk. I'm gonna add a little pepper and a little salt. And now we'll just whisk. With my egg, pepper, salt, and milk nicely whisked together, I'm gonna to add one piece of boiled ham and one piece of deli American cheese. As I add, I'm gonna tear this up into small little pieces. And I'll take and just combine all that. Now I don't want to forget to flip over and check periodically my potatoes. From that sizzle, I know they're cooking. 
Let's check on our potatoes. Those potatoes look great. They're browned up nicely. Just gonna take it, break them up a little bit while they're still in the pie iron. Now I'm going to add our cooked potatoes right in with our eggs. Just take and combine this all. Now we're going to add it to our pie iron. I have about enough for two of these treats, so I'm just going to start with one to begin with. And again, I'll put it on my heat. I didn't want to overload our pie iron because it would have made a mess, quite frankly. Uh, I could have backed off and just used one egg. Uh, probably would have been a little closer uh, to making one. So as with all pie iron cooking, you want to make sure to flip your pie iron more frequently than less frequently because if you don't, you're going to end up with a burnt mess. So that pie iron was nicely coated on the inside with the butter uh, from cooking those potatoes. Had I just put this mixture in a plain pie iron, I would have wanted to use uh, some of the nonstick spray oil. It's only been a couple minutes, but I want to check and see how this is looking because, again, I want to make sure that I don't burn it. And the pie iron was hot, uh, so this is going to cook a lot faster. And look at that. Our eggs have really fluffed up nice. That milk helped. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to add a couple slices of bread. So we'll get our two pieces of bread out. To help our bread from burning, we're going to take and carefully just coat the inside of each half of the pie iron. I'll lay this right in the bottom here in that butter. And now I'm going to carefully <laughs> get that egg mixture right on top there. And now I'll take and butter the other side. my bread on top so I don't make a mess pour that butter now we'll close up our pie iron a little bit of bread comes out no worries just cut it off with your knife Now I'm simply just trying to toast up my bread, seal it up nicely, and make a nice like pocket sandwich or pocket breakfast. I've been flipping it periodically just to make sure that it doesn't burn and uh, took a peek. It's important to peek once in a while and just see how your uh, pie iron is cooking, if it's toasting up the uh, bread or not. So let's take a look and see how our egg sandwich is doing. Top is looking good. And so is that bottom. Take a look at the center. Look at that. So there we have an egg sandwich, the takeoff on the Hungry Man breakfast where we have shredded potatoes that we browned up ahead of time in the cast iron, pie iron, in some butter. While they were cooking, 
we mix together some, some egg, a little bit of milk, some salt and pepper, some deli ham, some deli cheese. We mixed it all together. We cooked up our egg. It fluffed up nicely. Once it was cooked through, we took and added slices of bread by putting one piece in and a bed of butter, flipped over, put the other piece of bread with some more butter, toasted it up, and we have a delicious sandwich that would satisfy any hungry camper on a morning of a camp out. Get out there with your patrol mates and your troop members. Try new and different cooking methods. Consider a cast iron pie iron. Try new recipes. But most of all, get outside in the great outdoors and enjoy yourself.